Hi, just a quick follow-up video on this uh, UNI-T UDP6731 power supply. Uh, the reviewer did a full review of that. It was uh, quite popular, um, but there was one issue with it, and that was the uh, Lister mode here. So we've got the regular voltage mode, and then we've got the uh, delay mode, and then we've got the Lister mode, which allows you to program in different voltage steps and like a time delay between each one so that you can step your waveform up. And I just did a simple thing, and in that video, I just programmed in a simple uh, one volt step. So one volts, two volts, three volts, four volts, five volts. So five uh, counts total, and it cycles through one time. So it just does all the, those steps through that five, those five steps one time. Um, and there's one second delay between each one. Current limit doesn't matter. Um, it just set it to like a two amps, and we had a problem with it. So let's see if we can recreate that now. I've got the exact same conditions that we had in the video. So let me run that hold down enter i've got single shot trigger one second per division so you can see it's cycling through there and it's now stopped and take a few more seconds bingo and that's exactly the same fault that we saw in the well, fault in quote marks uh we, we we're getting these little little pulses like halfway up these ramps here, like, what the heck? These little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle years. And I told Unity about this, and they went, hey, it's not supposed to do that. Um, we think you might have a faulty unit, so we'll ship you another one. Um, offhand, I can't think what fault would sort of, like, give that issue. But anyway, thank you very much, Unity. They did send me a brand spanking new one. Um, so I've written new on the top there, um, so I can differentiate it. So I've programmed that identity, I do believe... I've programmed that identically. Let's have a look. Um, and the voltage uh, mode out here doesn't actually matter. Well, I've, I've set it the same, like every, everything's the same. Okay, so Lister mode is the same here. So let's plug that in and run that. So let's switch that over, plug it in, single shot capture again, and let's run that and see if it's any different. I have not tried this, oh, oh yeah. I have not tried this yet, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. They claim they fixed it. They have. They have fixed it. Look at that. It's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful, brings a tear to the eye, joy forever, um, absolute beautiful ramp up there. It's even got some nice routing on there. So what have they done? What have they done? I don't know. Um, I'm going to check the firmware version, just make sure they haven't tweaked the firmware, but they, I'm sure they would have told me that was the case. They said, it looks like you've got a faulty unit, but I don't know how. If you've got any idea what would actually cause that, um, leave it in the comments down below some sort of loop response thing as it like jumps out. But that's more like, oh, I know that, that, you know, it could be hardware, but you know, anyway, it depends on how they've implemented. But anyway, let's go down to about and version 1.1. And version 1.1. So, yeah, fair enough. They have not changed the software at all. So, there you go. It is fixed. Inter whether or not, or, you know, like the first, maybe I got a first batch or something, and, and it does that, and they've tweaked the hardware, or whether or not it's faulty, but I can't understand it. Like, oh, uh, there's a part missing, desoldered. I, I don't know. Let's compare the PCBs. I've already got my previous uh, teardown photos from the uh, old unit and the new unit. I just took uh, two identical, uh, hopefully identical photos that uh, we can compare. So this is the back of the PCB. Couldn't see any issues on the top of the PCB or the through hole uh, stuff, but you wouldn't expect any of that uh, to change. If anything, there'd be something maybe subtle in uh, the control circuitry or uh, with the control board, which is different to this one. This is just the main uh, board. If anything, I probably would have expected on the control side because that's where like the control loops are. But anyway, uh, so this is the back side of the PCB and you can see in the file name here, uh, this is the old. Um, so this is the back of the PCB. So this is the old and this is the new one. And I can just toggle between these. So the new one is the brighter one. Uh, so I've lined these, I've rotated and uh, lined these up, and hopefully, um, le leave it in the comments down below, but I cannot see any difference at all. There's no bodge wires on either of these boards, uh, so they haven't bodged anything. There's no, as far as I know, like I'm not going to go in and check every component um, detail, 
but I can't see any difference. Like, you know, there's little components down there, for example, that one is, is changed from zero, zero, zero to zero, but they're both zero ohm jumper links, but there's no value changes. These unpopulated parts here remain unpopulated, for example, and I'm, I'm just not seeing any difference whatsoever. Um, so as I said, haven't checked every component value uh, because the rotations have changed on some of the uh, components, a lot of the components between but on both of these uh, boards. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing. There's no additional components. There's no bodges. There's no components left off that were on before. Uh, the chip, the chips look the same. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not seeing it. So that's the bottom side. But as I said, I would not expect the main PCB. If anything, I'd expect this one. This is the control PCB. There's no components on the back side. Uh, and uh, this is the old one. So with the bent wire, sorry, I've just got the old photo of the bent wire over there. But uh, yeah, it's let's just assume that the uh, issue is not under there. And um, it looks like, like I couldn't get the, I haven't tilt corrected this one. So sorry, um, the bottom of the board's a bit out. But once again, I'm not seeing it. The, the chips are all the same. They're all the same. Uh, they've made no differences to the chips at all. Both have like had this like testing mark over here. This is what this red mark would be here. Somebody's actually actually tested them because this is a plug-in PCB. This is the control PCB that uh, has all the control loops on it. Um, and this is what this is where you'd expect this sort of issue uh, to come up. Although I don't know how halfway up a step it's going, eh, 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 it's wiggling. I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below if you've got any good theories on that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any difference. So yeah, this board would have been like they would have a production test jig and you can see it's got the right angle pin headers on the bottom here and that um, that would just plug into a board and they'd have an automated test uh, system that, that tests this board. So each one of these boards would have been thoroughly tested. And again, this is the old one with the bent wire and the new one has the straight one. And I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing it. So I think they're probably right that there's some sort of fault on this board. Maybe there's a dodgy solder joint on this old board here somewhere. I don't know if you can see it, leave it in the comments, but all the unpopulated parts are still unpopulated. There's no bodge wires. There's nothing on the back of this board whatsoever. It's only a, a top side load. In fact, there's no traces on the bottom. It's just one big ground plane. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am not seeing it. Just can't see any difference whatsoever. So they haven't bodged it and they haven't updated the firmware. So I guess they're right in that, yeah, this was just just faulty somehow. I can only presume some dodgy solder joint. But as I said, this board would have been production tested. Maybe it could have been, maybe it's an intermittent solder joint or something like that that uh, is causing an issue. But I didn't see any sort of like wiggle, 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 yeah problems um, in any of the other testing. It was only in lister mode, which is, it uses the same control loops. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand it, why it would happen only in lister mode which is really weird, but anyway, there you go. So <laughs> that's an interesting comparison. Thank you, Unity, for acting on that very quickly and sending me a new one and confirming that, yeah, maybe it looks like somehow I've got a faulty unit there that doesn't show up in any other modes except lister mode. Weird. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.